alive. It's alive. It's alive. Something is going to happen. I feel it. I can't get it out of my mind. You're just nervous. When this dead hand moves, the monster created by a man they called Mad is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> to shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Elizabeth! <laughs> to prey upon the innocence of children. This is the story you've heard about, talked about. The spine-tingling, blood-chilling story that stuns your emotions. Frankenstein. Don't touch that! Eternal punishment for anyone who opens this casket. The mummy. Is it dead or alive? Human or inhuman? You'll know. You'll see. You'll feel the awful, creeping, crawling terror that stands your hair on end and brings a scream to your lips. Ah! There's nothing on earth like the mummy. You will not remember what I show you now, and yet I shall awaken memories of love and crime and death. Now I know his horrible plan. He is going to kill her and make her a living mummy like himself. In the midst of gaiety and splendor, lurks a monster of psychological horror. A fiend whose murderous conscience is haunted by a voice from the past. A voice tormenting him to the point of madness. Rest, my dear, gently slipping away into another world. A world of my design, where you will be helpless without me. 
tonight you give your voice and your will to me. Starring the lovely songbird of Phantom of the Opera, Susanna Foster, the terrorizing star of Arsenic and Old Lace, Boris Karloff, and a romantic new star acclaimed for his role in Dragon Seed, Turon Bay, with June Vincent, George Dolenz, Gail Sondergaard, Thomas Gomez, Jane Farrar, Ludwig Stossel, and ballet and chorus of 100. I was so worried about you, I forgot to tell you how wonderful you were. Hold me tight. Please hold me tight. Franz, I, I'm afraid. I've come to help you, my dear. You don't want to sing, do you? Dr. Honer, don't look at me like that. London, in the dark nights of wartime when victory hung in the balance, a city in the grip of a nameless terror, for roaming unchecked among its six million inhabitants is a murder-crazed secret enemy. In his trail, factories are sabotaged, bridges bombed, defenses shattered, but the thousands who pursue him are powerless, for the only one who knows his amazing secrets is the woman forced to obey his commands. What are you doing here? I found out there were some important papers in that safe. I wanted to get them for you. When I need help, I ask for it. Go at once. Well, since you arrived in London, every word you've spoken, everything you've done, they've all been reported to Scotland Yard. We're both in terrible danger, Helene. I'm getting out. Well, I want you to come with me. No. No, I can't go. What are you going to do? In approximately three minutes, this house with the entire British cabinet will be destroyed. betraying me. I'm going to give that brain of yours a new home in the skull of the Frankenstein monster. The uh, juggler vein is severed, not cut, but torn apart as though by powerful teeth. A werewolf. Last night I killed a man. I didn't know what you were doing. But I did. I wanted to kill. I think they're after Dracula. stalks the streets of London. The most dreaded monster of them all strikes again and panic sweeps the city. But two men of intrepid daring fight back. Bud Abbott and Lou Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, co-starring Boris Karloff, twice as menacing as ever. Terror becomes turmoil and the laughs get terrific when Bud and Lou trap the beast among a bevy of beauties and get lost in a house of horrors that would frighten even Frankenstein. Come on, come on! Come on, will you? We can catch the monster. Give me a hand. Come on. <laughs> It'll 
scare you right out of your theater seat. Bud Abbott and Lou Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. An uproarious riot from beginning to end. <laughs> Paura di cosa? Dicono tutti che l'hanno uccisa le anime dei morti, i fantasmi. Ah! Ah! I Burdalak sono cadaveri che hanno sete di sangue, il sangue di coloro che in vita hanno maggiormente amato. che mi ami più della vita le mie labbra sono morte senza i tuoi baci non aspettare baciami sta attento Giorgio sta attento se lo fai mi uccido vedo il tuo corpo stupendo braccia morbide, le tue gambe perfette. No, non coprirti. Ma perché hai chiamato la tua amica Mary? Speri che possa aiutarti? Credevi che non sentissi, Rosy? Hai parlato piano, ma è inutile, perché io ti sono vicino. Te l'ho detto, molto vicino. Prima dell'alba tu morirai. one, the only, king of monsters, brings you the demon of the atomic age. <laughs> Boris Karloff as Frankenstein, 1970, carrying on the hideous experiments of his infamous ancestor. In this stone sarcophagus, deep in the bulls of the earth, he buried his creature his creation. Frankenstein, 1970. In the hell pit of his century's old castle, he perverts the terrifying wonders of nuclear science. Miss Gates, you surmise. To unleash a horror beyond all imagination. What kind of dealings do you have with the director of the morgue? Are you interested in corpses? Even the cyclotron concealed in his subterranean vaults 
cannot complete his foul creation, for which he must have throbbing vital organs transplanted from living beings. Two people are missing, and I want to know why they haven't come back. Mr. Rowe, I imagine, would have us suspect foul play. Chris Karloff has Frankenstein, 1970. Get out of this room. 